is the second in a four part series. What f between three and four hundred thousand dollars will buy you here in the villages, Florida, as of will be November still 2022. Let's go take a look. Um, any comments you have, please make them in the section below or email me. My email address, you'll be able to find that throughout the video. My phone, please call me, text me, email me. I'm always available. If you want to see home, I can do it via video or we can do a FaceTime call. Um, just let me know. I'm here to help. Don't forget to buy my book. It's listed below. And also, if this is the first time you're watching this type of episode or my channel, I do produce an episode every week called The Good, The Not So Bad, and The Ugly, where I actually would give you my comments and my opinions about homes in the MLS that have become available during the past week. This episode is just going to reveal what you can expect in this price range, but I'm not going to give my opinion. Um, I do that in the other episode because it's private and you only can receive it if you subscribe to my email newsletter list. So that's right here, and you can do it on my website at robincavallero.com. So let's uh, let's go take a look at 400 and under, what you can expect to find, and let me know if you see something you like. All right, let's, let's get to the computer. And then, uh, also, you know what you need to know too? People ask me about the village's lifestyle. So this is another big selling point for living here. And I'm producing an episode about the lifestyle, but so for example, today, um, after, so it was Thanksgiving yesterday and my pickleball group, pickleball obsessions, we play twice a week and then as organized play. And then we have open play Friday afternoons, but, um, we're having a Friendsgiving and everybody's bringing food, um, drinks and the organizers, Maureen and Michael are making fried turkey. So it'll be fun and you can participate in all these different types of groups. So it's a very active lifestyle here. I do highly recommend it. Even if you're under 60, because right now, yeah, I got, well, it's almost a whole year away before I turn 60. So we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, but Definitely a very active lifestyle. I highly recommend it for everybody. So let's go take a look again and see if you have 400000 or less to spend. Let's see what you can get. All right. So let's talk about what we can expect between three and 400000 Don't forget, I produced a video last week under three hundred. So when we get into the three to 400 category, we have on the market currently, today is November 25th. We have 95 homes out of, I think we're at 236 total. So this is probably the largest category. And when we take a look at the map, just make this a little bit bigger. Well, here, that's a little too big. But um, so they're all throughout the villages, but again, primarily like this is all north of 466 up in here. Let's I'll draw a little circle for you here. This is all north of 466. So when I segregate that, we'll take a look at what we have. And they're scattered throughout everywhere from 400,000 down to 307 in that price range. Um, when we get into the middle... <laughs> Hold on, sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, so in the middle, we have less between that 400, 300 and 400,000. Now we only have 22. Um, so let's, we're going to go back down for, I can see south of 44. Now we don't even want to look this. Okay. It's in the middle. We're going to go, there's two or three near Brownwood, and this is going to be South 44. There are nine. Again, so the bulk of what you're looking for is going to be 
up north. And I'm not saying that you can't negotiate any of the deals because you can. Um, subscribe to my email newsletter list. I just did the video this week of um, the good, the not so bad, and the ugly. And I'm going to tell you, I went under contract with two homes and um, one of them, you know, several of them, when we were making offers, we were able to negotiate way off of asking price. So there are deals to be found out there. You just need to find right, right ones. And usually, you know, you know that if a home is sitting on the market, you're going to find a deal. All right. So let's just start. You see now, um, when we look here, and I'll highlight this, the first page between 307 and 329 are all two bedroom with the exception of Fort Lawn Loop. Now I can tell you this, uh, I have an investor, we made an offer on this one today, which is Friday after Thanksgiving. I'll know this afternoon if they've accepted it. So um, we'll uh, stay tuned. Um, but I'll just take a look so you can see it. This is the home three bedroom. Now remember, again, like I said in the in the beginning, I am not offering my opinion in this video. I'm just showing you what you can expect. If you want my opinion, and it's honest, um, you have to sign up for that email newsletter list because that video is private. It's like having a private consultation with me on what's on the market. And um, that's the only way you can get that. You cannot find that video on YouTube. It is undiscoverable. So... All right, so that's the only three bedroom that we have. That's between, or that's, you know, in the low threes. So we'll take a look at the 307. And I'm just going to go and skip like several. I'm not going to go through all of these. That'll be a monster video. No one's going to want to sit through that. What you'll probably find in this range are a series of homes in and around an updating process. They may have started some things, but didn't complete for whatever reason. Um, again, I tell everyone when they are purchasing a home and they ask, where's the best place to buy? Well, you know, what is your objective? So if you want to buy and live here, I, in my opinion, and I always give you my opinion, I'll explain why, um, it doesn't really matter where you live. Because you have time to travel wherever it is. Um, hold that thought. So this one here, it says that the seller is motivated. And this is all public information that I'm giving you. Uh, this home has been on the market 121 days. So you take it for what it's worth. All right, next. Let's take a look at this home here. So this one is in Hacienda Villas, which is Spanish Springs, Hacienda Villas. Now, what, um, there is one thing you should know, and I can't remember the, the section because it just happened to me. There is a section up here in Spanish Springs that does have a homeowners association and um, they want it owner occupied. So just make sure in some of these older areas where there is no CDD that you there isn't a homeowners association with restrictions. Um, ask your realtor or your, you know your realtor will have that information for you. So now this is a two bedroom two bath courtyard villa. It's a big yard. This is listed for $310,000. It's been on the market 112 days. Um, other things that you find with homes that have been sitting on the market or, you know, maybe in the low threes, they may still need a roof, an HVAC system. You know, it's, it's, it's a case by case, but that's what, that's what you, you're probably going to find. All right, so now let's, um, I'm going to choose this one because I know this is in uh, Citrus Grove and I've been in this home 
uh, previously. This is staged, so there's there's no furniture in there. It's just so you can kind of have an idea of what to expect. This home did start out higher. It's been on the market quite a while. Maybe they put furniture in it. It's not virtually staged. It must be stage stage. Um, Cause usually they'll show the photo without the furniture if it's been virtually staged. So now this is a new home. It's less than a year. This one has, this is a patio with two car garage, which is nice. You don't always get the two. You usually will get one and a half and it has an extended bird cage. Um, but let's just take a look what you need to know about homes in the south as opposed to homes up north, which you can expect. This is a $22,000 bond. And what does that mean for you? That means your taxes. Now, you can't go by this is probably just the, the tax because it hasn't caught up with itself because this is a brand new home. But this, you know, your taxes will probably be at least $4,800 to $5,000 a year on this home. That's what you can expect from the newer home. So now that one was at $318,000. So now uh, if you know anything about the villages, when they have a number, a direction, a street number, and a name, those are the Marion County homes. Um, let's just take a look at this for 320. This is a two bed, two bath. This floor plan you find everywhere up north. Sometimes the ceiling is vaulted, high volume ceiling. Sometimes it isn't. Um, if they've renovated it, you'll find what they call a knockdown ceiling as opposed to um, popcorn ceiling. But like I said, this home is very um, was very popular up in that section yeah okay so um so that's a 320 let's hit the 329 mark now again this is still up north of 466 So this one, the kitchen eating area is separate. They have a formal dining space. Sorry, you hear that background noise. I left my door open. It's actually, it turned out to be a very nice day out today. It was kind of rainy. I didn't play pickleball this morning. I had an inspection. So I, uh, I know, boo-hoo me. <laughs> I'll play tomorrow. I'll make up for it. <laughs> You know, this is, uh, two bedroom to me is plenty of space. Well, for one person, definitely. Um, for two people, it could be, yeah. Um, this has been on the market 29 days. All right, now we're going to flip over to the next page. Um, let's take, let's go up to the three. Well, here, let's just take one at 334. All right, this one is a two bed, two bath courtyard, no bond. It's been on the market 16 days. Yes, so, um, you know, again, you get an idea of what you can expect in this price range. I tell all of my buyers, if you're interested, let me video it. Let's do a FaceTime call. You can make an offer. All they can do is say, no, we won't accept that. Or they can say, yes, let's move forward. I would not stop, especially if you're cash. Yeah, it, the thing you have to worry about here is if your finance is the roof. If the roof is really old, then you're going to have to um, make some adjustments here. All right, let's go up to, we're going to go up to 345 now. This is 326 Chula Vista. I did have someone that had asked a couple questions about this home. This is a two bed, two bath. 
and this is also north of 466 near um, Spanish Springs. So I'm getting my bearings. I know where I am. And Spanish Springs, you know, the, the homes up there, they do have something to offer. It's not for everybody. That area is not for me. And somebody had asked, you know, why? And I tell them all the time, I have a daughter that lives in Claremont. I have a son that lives just north of Tampa. So for me, living south of 44 is much more convenient. Um, I, I take care of my granddaughter once a week. And I also, uh, my son and his fiance wife have uh, a new baby. Uh, she was born a day after my birthday. Isn't that sweet? I got a baby for my birthday. Um, just a day late. But uh, it's easier for me to get around. And because I do so many things outside of the villages that it's easier for me to get on the turnpike in 75. That's my reasoning. I don't go to the squares a lot. And you'll hear me talk about that. It's just not my thing. Once in a while, I'll go if my friends are going. I might join them. But it's just not. I like to do active things outside of the area all right so that's now we're at 345 so let's jump up so you see there's quite a bit here but 350 now um well we're going to take a look at two at three well 349.9 there's on Chirwa. now i could tell you i've been in this home uh, i had a client looking at it uh, we did two looks um, but they passed and they um, actually went into agreement under on another home this is virtually staged. Yeah, there's nothing in there. You can see this one has vaulted ceilings. This is a uh, this is a three bedroom courtyard. It still had the popcorn ceilings in there. And if you have any questions now, I know um, I, I will drop my contact information throughout this video. Um, if you're watching it on the computer or on the phone, you can click on the title and you can leave some comments, questions. If you're watching it on t TV, I know it's a little bit more difficult, which is why call me, text me, or email me. And um, with any questions that you have, I'm here to be a resource for you. Um, also, again, I'm gonna keep plugging this. I, did write a book and it's all about thriving it's called thriving in the villages your guide to success or whatever I called it I can't even remember <laughs> but the um it talks about the buy it talks all about the things to do here and why you should move here and then it goes about the buying process all the things you need to know about the buying process uh because many of the things people are not familiar with one of which is now spun a market 103 days. The big thing is that this is a second home at 349. This one is um, south of 44. The biggest thing that buyers do not realize that to see all of the pre owned homes, you have to have two representatives one from the villages, their sales rep or a realtor like myself. So you see everything. Realtors cannot sell new homes, but if you are working with a realtor that you know, like, and trust, they may know somebody in the villages that they know as a, has an you know, acquaintance or they're friends with, and they can refer you to somebody that they know that you'll be taken care of like they would take care of you. The photos on that home are not so good, but you know, I like course I love living down here south of 44 all right so now we're at 349.9 and this is three bedroom this is a one and a half car garage and that's a cart garage right on the side there okay so now we're up to 350 so we've gone through half so now we're going to skip over into the you see where there's a few at 359 
now we're going to mix of two and three bedrooms. Um, one thing I do want to point out, and I did point it out on the last episode, if you're ever looking at an MLS link or you get a listing from your agent um, when you go to look at the homes, you'll see this here, CDOM and ADOM. ADOM is actual days on the market. CDOM is cumulative days on the market. Sometimes uh, a home's been taken off the market. They can't show it. Maybe they're on vacation and they can't show the home. The home has to be taken off the market, but the clock does not stop ticking for how many days it's been on the market. Um, so that's why you'll see two different numbers. So like here, this one on Candlebrook just came on the market today, 359. And this is a Corpus Christi in Summerhill. Again, no opinion. I'm biting my tongue. Trust me on this because I love giving my opinion. <laughs> Sometimes whether you like it or not, I'm very direct. <laughs> Don't take the directness though as, um, uh, as the negative. I just, I'm one, I'm a person that will just tell you what I think um, in my business life and my personal life. Um, I just, I'm not harmful. I'm not hurtful to people, but. And just kind of say it like it is. I don't know if it's that New York thing or what. I've been out of New York a long time, though. I moved when my first husband and I got married in 1986. <gasps> that was a long time ago. I can't believe I even remember that long. <laughs> All right, so we still see popcorn ceiling here. And you're going to see that way up north. North of 466, practically everything has popcorn unless it's been renovated. You'll start to see the popcorn go away south of 466. This one, the bond is paid. Um, and you will find bond paid homes north of 466 because the homes are older. All right, where were we here? I don't even remember now which one that was. Um, okay, so let's look at, I'm just going to jump up a little bit more. Let's go to, let's take a look at 370. And again, the homes aren't changing. It's just what's on the interior and the upgrades that are changing. This one looks like it's been, you know, it's been redone. It still has Formica, but... Okay, I can see if it's cute or not. I just won't slam the home on this. I think this is cute. I think they did a really nice job. The furniture looks nice. I don't know if the furniture comes with it. This would have been one of my, okay, you can buy this furniture. I'm good with that. So now we're up in the 370s. Um, this is only two bedroom. So you see, you're going to see two bedroom homes in the low threes and the high threes. Um, this one is 1,142 square feet. Um, it's offered turnkey. So all the furniture, decorations, kitchenware, everything is included and it has a low bond. So if you're looking maybe for a rental property, this could be a good investment for you because you it doesn't look like you need to do anything to it. There I go, give my opinion. Okay, I'm stopping right now. All right. That was 370. Let's uh, let's go to the last one on the list here. 379. Now we're in a courtyard. Two bed, two bath. I think this one is all right. So Sumter Landing. Oops, sorry, my thing got caught. This is Sumter Landing. This is the home. It's very close. And the closer you are to any town square, the more money you're going to pay of all of the homes. Spanish Springs home are going to be a little less. Sumter will be more. But right now, Brownwood is demanding a high premium on their homes. Um, now here, there's looks like there's knocked out. This has been renovated, obviously. Um my opinion, south of 44, if you're for a long-term investment, 
they're growing. Eastport will be here in a couple of years. I mean, they finally opened Sawgrass. How long did that take? But, um, I mean, there you cannot believe how much is cleared out down here. It's unbelievable. Um, that's just what I think. This home is 1,182 square feet. They're asking $379,000 for it. Proximity to Sumter Landing is a key factor in this one. All right. So on the last page, let's start with, uh, let's just go up to 385. I'll show you two at 385 because I was in the other one in Lachlan. That's south of here. Uh, three bed, two bath. This is up just over for reference. You can see. Maybe there it goes. Okay. So here's Morse. Spanish Springs. Okay. Up here. And let's go back down there. All right. Let's take a look. This is a three bed, two bath, solar panels. Um, one thing about solar panels, when you buy a home with solar panels, you have to find out if they're leased or they own them and what the payoff of the lease is. Um, I had, I've sold two with, with um, solar panels. One was leased and the, or there was a loan on them and the seller paid it off. But you, because it goes with the house. So obviously this kitchen's been redone. There's custom kitchen, reverse osmosis, water filtering system. So they really did some work on this home. Kind of see where it is in relation to Sumter Landing. And Spanish Springs. That section there, you're kind of in the middle. Uh, 1,527 square feet, $385,000. All right, and we'll skip. Okay, uh, next, Lachlan. I was in this home last week. This is a three bed, two bath. Um, <clears throat> this is in McClure. So down south of 44, they started with a straight-in garage for the courtyards, which is nice because uh, trying to navigate a car and a golf cart on the curve, I think, could be problematic. <laughs> so you can see, you know, how the look has changed from up north. To, you know, oh my gosh, I have this thing. <laughs> I have this thing from Pier 1 when they were in business. You see it in my videos. I have, when I do them, when I'm in my office, I have it on my uh, computer hutch. You know, everywhere down here now, they have that walk-in shower and a little bit of larger home. <clears throat> so, you know, big difference between the two homes. Now, this one on Lachlan will have a bond and Camino del Rey will probably have zero to very little bond. Uh, what do we want to look at next? All right, why don't we take a look at 395 for 184 days on the market? Um, we'll just take a quick look. I can see the history. So this came on the market um, back in May. This is just very uh, similar style to a lot of the homes up north, the larger homes they have that. It's a little older style, so, you know, the kitchen is separate from the living space because that's just how they built homes back then. Three bedroom, two bath. They're putting a new roof on it. So that's a definite plus. Nice big yard. I don't know. <laughs> nice big yard for me, a nightmare. For you, you may love it. <laughs> I wouldn't want a big yard. Yeah, that roof doesn't look like it's so hot. <clears throat> 1,500 square feet. Well, and they're asking uh, just a little under 400 for that. And let's just go to the last one. Uh, 
400,000. This one's been on the market 45 days in Dunedin. So that's going, it's, uh, Dunedin is close to um, Brownwood. You know, just open floor plan, high ceilings. I love that. I'll tell you, I, I have a patio villa, and when I see the patios up north and they have the low ceiling, it's so enclosing. And in my home, they have, um, they made the high volume ceiling throughout the entire homes, including the bedrooms, which is so nice. But I'm interested to see um, hear your thoughts on the homes that are available under 400. As you can see, some of them need work, some of them don't. Um, last episode, which you should watch, most all of them under three needed work. But okay, all right. So next episode, we're going to do 500 and under. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. Please make some comments in the section below. I do respond to all of your questions that you leave there. And if you email me or call me, I respond as well. If you like this episode, you might want to stick around and take a look at that one too. Some great information on living here in the villages. So until next time, I'll see you.